top of the league they may still be, but the previously unbeatable Brisbane Roar are in a slump, facing the prospect of three consecutive losses for the first time in almost two years. The Wellington Phoenix are looking for back-to-back -back wins for the first time this season. They were the first to take any points off the Roar in a 1-1 draw at Suncorp in round six. A win tonight puts them right in the playoff frame. Good evening. Welcome to Forsyth Bar Stadium in Dunedin. It seems somehow appropriate that the Hyundai A-League should venture further south than ever before on the very day that marks 100 years since Norwegian explorer Amundsen was the first to the South Pole. Well, the history between these two teams doesn't go back quite so far. 13 games played between them. Brisbane dominate. They've got eight wins, four draws, just the one victory for the Wellington. Wards looking to free Eiffel. Eiffel, the German for company. Adnan in the middle. Eiffel one way, then the other. Under the right foot. Eiffel deflection. Go! Becomes the all time leading scorer in a Phoenix jumper. They caught Brisbane on the break. The fans are delighted. It had a deflection. But credit Paul Eiffel. Wonderful strike from the Phoenix striker. Yeah, a mistake from Brisbane. Bartolu gives the ball up. And then Paul Eiffel gets released. Takes German inside, then outside. Cuts inside here, then goes on the outside again. And then eventually when the shot comes, a deflection and Michael Theopatos no chance. A couple of metres and get the game underway. I thought most of the uh, students had left town. Not so clearly, some are still around. They had to be students, Fred, didn't they? Future engineers there, Andrew. I, I don't fancy if they're architecture students, put it that way, but uh, there they are. Of course, uh, for those in Australia not familiar with Dunedin, it's very much a university town, and uh, it's headed wide. And, yep, the final whistle for the first half anyway is blown and it's the home side the Wellington Phoenix with a 1-0 lead courtesy of this man Paul Eiffel who tonight has become the all-time record goal scorer for the Wellington Phoenix his 22nd in a Phoenix jersey half time it's the Phoenix 1 Brisbane Raw 0 are they going to change their tactics or will it just be a matter of trying to do the same thing but trying to do it a little bit better so the fans enjoying the halftime refreshments, and it's largely down to a man called Eiffel. He is clear. An anger that, uh, that the Brisbane Roar have put on target. It's the only real save that Tony Warner has had to make. He's got the three goals uh, so far this season, unable to add a fourth in the first 45 minutes. Of course, this is midweek, which means a busy time for the Wellington Phoenix. What impact Following will he have? What impact will Ben Sigmund have? He's got plenty of fans in the stand. Second half is not too far away here in Dunedin. It's 1-0 at the break. The Phoenix with their noses in front. The only goal scoring action of the first half in very good conditions because we're indoors here in Dunedin. No wind, no rain, but the Phoenix are doing just fine. Thank you very much here at Forsyth Bar Stadium. And there is a look at this uh, wonderful facility built here, of course, for the uh, recent Rugby World Cup. Elton John performed just down there as well. That's why there's no seating behind uh, one goal here at the stadium tonight. Uh, not sure if Elton's your go, Fred, but uh, <laughs> apparently he entertained about 35,000 here just a few weeks ago. Not quite so many in the ground here tonight to watch the Phoenix, but they're enjoying their uh, night's entertainment nonetheless. Saying I've had enough, but he's still out there. Driven across, that's a dangerous ball. Control from Nichols just lacking at the critical moments. And there's Eiffel showing that he can still stretch the legs. And immediately starts to struggle. And clearly a problem with the, the groin area. Well, he wants to play on, but I'll get him off. He can't, he can't afford him aggravating it. Too important for the Phoenix. 
Yeah, the signal's just been made, and uh, that communication now clearly to the bench. I will come off. Bonich. Griffiths getting in front. Doing a good job as the young fullback. Sprung the offside trap. Nicky Ward breaks through. Takes the ball. One on one to the raw keeper. Takes his time. That's beautiful finish from Nicky Ward. Just waited, waited. Fantastic pass from Paul Eiffel. It'll be his final action of the evening. But that's a class finish from Nicky Ward. The Oklatos, he shakes the head. And Paul Eiffel, well, you've got to call it a stroke of genius. Well, they hold up the black three on the orange background, and I think the message is pretty clear, Fred. The Yellow Fever fans believe that Brisbane are indeed about to lose three on the trot, and what money would you have got on that three weeks ago? That's yeah, uh, it's been an unbelievable turnaround in fortune, hasn't it, for the Raw? Sums up the evening, really. For Brisbane, plenty of possession, plenty of time on the ball, and that was just a little moment to uh, sum all of that up. Because in third place, the you know, same goal difference as the Melbourne Heart, and who would have thought that as well a couple of weeks ago? And they were second, third to last. So it just shows you how tight this A League is. Well, things just got an awful lot tighter for the Brisbane Roar because they've dropped three in a row. They've come to Dunedin, and there's confirmation of it from the Yellow Fever fans. That's right, Brisbane. It's three back to back to back. But more importantly for the home side, it's two back to back. And another clean sheets. The Wellington Phoenix win it. Two goals to nil.